So look, we're now going to give this guy what he wants. They say left stick, right stick to him. And look, unlike some water levels and some things, he can breathe forever underwater and that is really important when you're a kid. Because when you're very young, you tend to panic a lot and scream when everything's going, wait, 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 you're drowning, you're drowning. Which is just like, why would you do that to somebody? If anyone remembers, I mean, like, Sonic wasn't actually the problem because the handling was pretty much the same, but here's an unfamiliar control scheme in a lot of platformers. Now you're underwater, you've only got so much time, you're feeling. And you're like, ah, uh, I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. Uh, uh. <laughs> That's bullshit. You shouldn't do that to somebody. Uh, bitch, did you just give me an order? Oh, thanks. So it's literally the only way back to my native lands because you fucking stole that from me to you. I hate people who give me orders. So you see what I mean? Sunny Beach. It's like the place I said I wanted to go to in the beginning, although that's called Dragon Shores. Then there's Horacos. Yeah, there's a lot more stuff you can see. Sadly, none of us humanoid characters or high jumping characters like Hunter can do anything about this. Yeah, know your place. <laughs> Sorry. When you're a kid and he's starting to tell you, hey man, I can change all the options for you if you want. I can just do that. And you're like, I don't fucking know what you're on about. I'm five. Now the worst swimming for me, not me personally, oh. They have? Oh, this is like the flight level. I want to show these. Uh, you can see this the hub world is fucking massive. And there's money bags again. The teleporting animals. Let's go talk to money bags again. He's always hilarious. In terms of hilariously evil. What a cunt! Holy shit! <laughs> what a fucking prick! Oh my god! <laughs> Every corner you go around, one of the people you were just talking to is teleported ahead as well. Glad you know all of this. Like, how would you? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> what a fucking hustler. Oh, that was not the right answer. Oh, nice tree. So, uh, I mean, I want to go to the other bit where we could swim too, but that's like a lot of backtracking. But, you know. 
was I going to say though? Something that happened to me recently and I was like, oh yeah, like I'm actually pretty achy right now. Uh, I know that's nobody really gives a shit. I didn't finish any of my thoughts. Hang on. <laughs> Swimming. The worst one I ever encountered as a kid was rascal swimming sections, because holy fucking shit, why? Um, that was just awful. Uh, just absolutely awful. Is that where we went? That's where we went. So straight up, like, you couldn't do this shit without that bear giving you that. Oh look, there's a there's literally just an orb there. Oh yeah, you need to fly down. Uh what was I even fucking saying? Yeah, Rascals was bad. And I watched some people because I was too young. Tomb Raider scared the fucking shit out of me as a kid, because there was like mummies and like dinosaurs and like violent creatures coming to kill you. And you had to shoot with guns, and I was just out of that age. I was like, yeah. <laughs> like uh, everything. Like, oh, it's a slight peril. Oh, I'm scared because I'm a fucking five year old. And everyone was just playing it in front of me anyway. But the swimming levels in that were not fun either because there was one where it was literally just a big fucking swimming level, but the shark, w a shark was there too. And it would wreck your shit if you stayed in there for too long and you had to do all this shit. And, people I were watching doing that were not like, very, like, they got a lot of game rage from that shit. And I almost want to go back and play them now I'm an adult, because I always used to see them as, like, really video gamey ask action video games. It's, like, very much like, the Metal, like Metal Gear Solid in terms of, like, that's a PS1 game that people just played, you know what I mean? Yeah, I thought I could dive here. I could dive here. Yeah. Oh, because I'm underwater. That makes sense. Oh, give me. I have no idea. Summer forest. There's so much more for summer forest. Yeah, I'm just gonna give up 100%ing everywhere. Uh, straight away. Teleporting Alora. She's the worst culprit. Her and money bags are the two worst. So he did idle. Colossus sounds like a boss, right? But they literally tell you, hey man, you're gonna open the dungeon to the boss later. And you're like, oh. So you don't have to worry about the same problems as Spyro 1 where you just blunder into something that sounds fun and turns out to be the final boss of that area. And you're like, oh, fuck. Confronting Dr. Shemp. Paging Dr. Shemp. Uh, so we, we should check out Colossus. Ah, oh, you just tell me the same thing. I thought you had something scummy to say. <laughs> Let's go to Colossus. Oh yeah, I'm achy as fuck, man. Because last night... I finished work and I had coffee at like 6 p.m. and it was strong ass, really disgustingly bitter coffee from Hagen Bars of all people because I was eating there for dinner. Because long story. Oh, hey, I remember you. Oh, great! They're exactly the same, but they're different colors. Oh no. <laughs> casually suggesting murder. So let's look at this obviously Himalayan um, themed environment and worry about how one color change has made these characters guide me. Luckily, they look like hippos, so they're not a racist caricature of uh, Asian people. Don't worry. 
they're definitely not taking the piss out of, like, don't worry about it. <laughs> of course there's Yetis. Talk to the brother. I'm softly spoken and I'm wearing sandals and a toga and I can fruit sing. Don't, don't think about it too much. Man, they got away with some shit back in the day, didn't they? Oh, they got away. Oh my. You cannot own with a fucking hockey stick, sir. One of the most violent and aggressive sports is hockey. God damn, man. What the fuck was that? Rolling bison. Oh, I just murdered a penguin. Thanks. How would have I gotten through the first game without you? Uh Oh. That's a hitbox. <laughs> no. No rolling bison, no. Rolling start. So that we're using the souls to power gates. Soul will be mine. Sorry, spirit particle soul. liking this uh, level when I was younger, or just it being memorable. I want to see there's a lot more like blank spots for Spyro 2. Yeah, let's, let's not remember Hunter's advice, because he's a dragon-hating bastard, so... <laughs> what was I saying about aching? Yeah, 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 you're a goat. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Still 11. I just killed like 5. Oh, that's what that power up gate's for, okay. How do we do it? Gotta have a headbutt thing. You learn like a body slam after a while. I like we can break those after a while. Like an interesting mashup of shit, to be fair. Fun shit, but like, yeah. I do like the flags too. I went to Nepal and I actually got some prayer flags. I know that's really. I, I went big on the souvenirs because um, when I was in, uh, when I go to these countries, <laughs> I use the Lonely Planet guides and they give me a list of what I should be using. Oh, what the fuck? Can we just try that again. One more time. One, one more, one more time. Okay, just fuck me then, I guess. Oh, you poorly handling of oh, fine. I'm sorry, what am I supposed to be doing with this? 
Is it literally just landing? <laughs> Here's our secret talisman. I'll just give it to you, random guy. Again, I just can't get past that. Yeah, so I'm pretty achy because, uh, I'm gonna tell the full, full, full story. Oh, this. Oh, yeah, no. Before we do that, I want to tell my story. I want to finish my story. God damn it. Um. We. Uh. Yeah. So this girl I work with. I bumped into her in the street and it was really fucking awkward. Like, I was going to Starbucks, because there's a Starbucks near where I work. And I thought, oh, okay, like, I'll just go get myself a Starbucks. You know, it's, it's fine. I'll just go get myself a Starbucks. It doesn't matter. I'll just hang out at the Starbucks. I mean, I don't do it very often, but it's just fine. It's not going to afford it every now and then. And she was like, oh, hi. Like, these have got to be something. Like, I've got to do something with these. Um, And then she saw me in the street and was like, oh, hi, 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 and started talking to me. And she's already admitted several times to me that she has a crush on me, and I'm a bit like, you know, she keeps calling me cute, she keeps texting me, asking me what I'm doing on my day off, and I'm just like, yeah, you know, stuff, laundry, because I'm like an asshole, and I don't want to, like, be rude, because I learned from girls in college that it's going up when people call, like, are attracted to you and you're like, huh, I would never date you, and are really rude, it's really fucking upsetting, and you, oh. Are you alright, Mr. Mole? I never finished the story, I swear. Oh. So basically what I was saying before. Ah, it changes there. Okay. There's an egg. There's a squig. Oh, I fucked that up. And now I'm dead. Oh, I just lost a little progress. I was really hoping that was going to be something else, these power-ups, and they were... Well, whatever. Uh, yeah, so she keeps, she, 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 she kind of is gradually tailing off because she's realizing that I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, that's nice, thanks, kind of thing, and I'm just being, like, not very interested because it's much easier sometimes, for, sometimes easier for uh, men to give women the hint that maybe they're not interested because, uh, you know, they don't really, a lot of them, uh, some of the girls that I've spoken to are really fucking pushy, so I can't really say that. Oh, there's stuff up there. Stuff everywhere, man. You know you see lots of, like, statues, and then now I can't find any of them. Oh, look. Again, this is just generic, go back through the level, spend time looking at our design. It took us a while fucking appreciate <laughs> the worlds we made because we know there's not much to do unless you literally go back and forth through the level because look, it's just a big open grassed area, right? Anyway, yeah, she kept um, kind of being a little weird, but like it was fine because it was like, you know, she wasn't sending me unsolicited nudes, but she was sending me unsolicited lewds <laughs> and I was just like, oh, okay cool story, bro, like, you know, just being, like, really, oh, great, glad to see your cat, because she has a cat, and she was just putting her cat on her boobs, and being like, look, he wants to sit on my soft breasts, and I'm like, oh, good for you, good for that cat, that cat knows what's up, 
whatever, I don't, <laughs> like, you know, uh, I, I don't know why I'm telling this part of the story, but it was, it made me really awkward, and she said hi to me I was in public, and I was like, you know, I see her at work normally and never outside of it, I was like, oh, hi, and then I felt like immediately she felt really uncomfortable, because she kind of started standing away from me, I was like, oh, okay, sure, you know, kind of thing, like, she doesn't want to be associated with me in public, that kind of makes me question what the fuck she was on about before, to be honest, but okay, sure, no problem, and then she, I was like, wait, why aren't you at work, because she hadn't been at work that day, and I was like, what, what, why are you, like, and she was like, I was like, is it a day off, and she was like, no, I'm going in later, and load of awkward forced conversation earlier about her not eating any food all day for some reason which just is unpleasant and I was like okay why <laughs> like you know oh I had an apple and it's like it's 5pm at night and all you've eaten is an apple all day yeah I'm trying to lose weight that's an eating disorder you should uh, maybe just eat healthily and work out anyway yeah like Long story short, she was going to Starbucks, and we were walking, and it was like an awkward silence all the way through. Oh, he's got two, because the, the, these hockey matches are really hard. Okay, uh, there aren't any statues here. Let's get those first. Oh, that was lucky. Is the other of a one? Is it on the other side? Oh, that would have been a bit easy. Yeah, and she was like saying some weird shit, and I was like, oh, okay. But she was walking in a weird way of like, I'm trying to walk quickly, and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna keep up with your pace, because then it looks like I'm kind of following you, and I'm, I'm unwanted, and it kind of like looks like man harassing woman, which is you know what's happening. Ah, I thought I needed a special move for this. We fucked up the jump there. Help me find the other statue, look. Wow, thanks professor, you stole their wealth. You're just like me. egg. A beautiful egg. You need it. What does it do? Uh, yeah, so it just made me feel like she's she's giving off big don't talk to me, I'm trying to walk away from you vibes. And I was just like, oh, okay. She thinks that I'm a creep. I don't know why, because I'm doing everything I can to ignore her most of the time and be like, sure. Sure thing, buddy. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm the creep. <laughs> yeah, okay. And she was going to Starbucks, and I was like, oh, okay, she's going to Starbucks. Thinking, shit, I was going to go to Starbucks, but I am going to break off this awkward-ass fucking interaction as quickly as possible. And the next nearest thing was haagen because they do ice cream in over here, but they also do coffee and cake and all sorts of other things. It's like a proper cafe never seen this outside of China, but it's, it's a thing here, whatever. And uh, maybe it's just me being shuttered off and I've never seen it before. Let's just see how many we have. We're missing like seven gems. It's a really frustrating, like, small amount. Yeah, and she was just going like, you know, oh, I'm gonna go, and I, I felt like it could have been taken as she was really nervous for some reason, but like, I was really taking it as she was going, don't talk to me, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. That's what I was getting from her body language and her nervousness. And I just thought, okay, I'm just going to leave her. And she was just like, oh yeah, I'm going to Starbucks. And I couldn't work out if she was like, she, she said to me, oh, are you going to have your dinner? I'm going to Starbucks. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Well, okay, bye. Thinking like, holy shit, get away from me, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> like, I'm not being made to look like I'm stalking you, fuck you. Mm 
Mexico is cold. <laughs> Hockey. A peaceful and calm sport. Then they send out this giant Yeti guy. Um. So, so, sorry, what? Oh. Yeah, I hate this. This is horrible to handle. Oh, I can. Oh, and he breaks my shit if I get too near him. Okay, okay, we can do this. Yeah! Straight at the goalie is fine. Ah, he's gonna twat me now, isn't he? <laughs> I knew it. This is, by the way, is against all lords of hockey. Oh, and I can't make him go faster. Where's he gone? What the park? <laughs> Seriously, what the park? I haven't got a single goal and it's been a minute. What the? Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's there. Yeah, bitch. Oh! No! No, I need to get one goal. I'm just giving it to the goalie as well is probably the problem. I got one. And he's like, fuck you! <laughs> Calm my ass! <laughs> yeah! Oh, he's so angry. You tell me what to fucking do. Focus my force. It's easy for you to say no ice skate man. Let's try again. Let's try again. We can do this. I <laughs> too busy twatting me around the head. I will harm myself to get what I want, I said in the first LP. Yeah. Take that you bitch. <laughs> Come over here and I steal all your gold and your talismans. I murder the local wildlife that are literally livestock you survive on. And now I'm wrecking you at your national sport. <laughs> Take that. Colonial dragons. This is where there's a video essay online that said, Is Spyro an allegory for colonialism? <laughs> You're just like, wait, what? <laughs> like... We got free. We got a minute. We didn't take this little punk bitch. Oh, that was a terrible. I was trying to do a, some sort of weaving shit, and it just meant I threw it straight at him. I miss air hockey, man. They don't have air hockey over here. I love air hockey. That was a trick. This was also a trick. Oh no, the streak is gone. Isn't it good now? Oh, he's judder. Oh! Soul loser much. Oh. Gimme. Hello. Oh! Rude. He never even hits you with the stick, right? Just shoves you. Seriously, I'm gonna lose again. Fuck you. Yeah, suddenly had to become a good goalie for a minute. So I was talking smack. That's what I get, right? That's what I fucking get. Get what I fucking deserve. Oh, shut up, brother Kip. <laughs> Not making any friends here. Yeah, I know your place, Kip. Now, why is your Jason <laughs> a Jason? 
<laughs> the trick is to make him hit you. Ow! Make him slide. No. No, don't make me go around and around. <laughs> Fuck you. He's gonna play hard to get now. I didn't finish my story. I'm too busy working this guy at his sport. So literally I'm being put up against this novelty handicap gimmick match and I'm losing in front of my entire race of people. This is the end for my career, fucking dragon piece of shit. He looks like he's about to kill me. And the next one is literally play a game of hockey where he tries to get it in your goal. I may play it. Okay, it's hard. Oh wait, they've got a team. <laughs> That's not fair. One on one. Oh, I see one. One on one. Thanks, Goldie. Oh. Save it, Goldie. <laughs> oh. I really need to learn how to charge on the ice. Ow. Oh. Calming sport, my ass. And he scored an own goal. It's fine, it's fine. Oh! Yeah, fuck you! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so aggressive. Calming spawn. Feel the zen! <laughs> oh! Let's fucking go then! Oh! No, 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 no. No goals for you, sir. Hello. Hello. Oh! <laughs> His hit range is longer than I thought. Oh! Somehow they knocked it into their own goal. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Hey, out of the way, Pucky. Oh! Save it, Goldie, save it. Hold on. Whatever. <laughs> I am wrecking you at this. Are you sure you're good at this sport? Oh. Save it, Goldie. No! You failed me. Very motherfuckers. <laughs> Just gonna keep punching this guy. Burning his butthole. Oh! Oh! I'm being chained over here. Uh, where'd the puck go? What the puck? What the puck? Give me the puck. No! Oh! Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh! 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 Oh, yeah! Let's fucking go! <laughs> this used to be just really one-sided and unfair, and now it's just, like, <laughs> really, like, ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, playing on mine. No! Yeah, thank you. Thanks, green guy. Should we be wearing a purple jersey, man? <laughs> Sorry, what? If you stare at this long enough, you might not see anything. Uh, thanks, I guess? They're just playing on their own now. Oh man, whatever. So yeah, finishing off my coffee story, my awkward coffee story. 
So I went to a coffee shop that I don't normally go to, and boy, is their coffee. They kind of over roasted it so it was really, really strong, which I didn't really enjoy, and was really burnt tasting. And I had it really late at night, and then I was just sat there like, uh, I have way too much energy, and I feel like this is a good enough excuse for me to get some martial arts done. And I spent like two hours from like 10 to way, well, almost past midnight, I think, uh, just um, wait, I, I can do this. cannot do this. Oh. Uh, yeah, working out, and I literally mean like an hour of shadow boxing, some weight lifting, some sit-ups, some push-ups. I did like 50 push-ups, which is like quite a lot from zero, because I haven't done it for a while. Uh, and I was just sat there like doing all this shit. And yeah, I woke up, I then barely slept on top of that because still had too much stimulant in my system, too much caffeine. So I went, I don't know, I'm trying to find these gems, man. It's doing my nut in. So let's see anything we're missing, these seven gems. Just look for the whole area. Pretty sure that golden egg has something to do with something. It's not, it's not a gem. Penguin. So anyway, yeah, I was doing that, and uh, then this morning I was just cleaning the house, and then once I finished cleaning the house and packing some things away, I uh, I uh, did some more working out. On top of the working out I did this morning, probably like another half hour. And I was like, well, no, it's probably spread out over an hour. I probably did about 40 minutes. And it was just a little bit of shadow boxing here and there, a little bit of like weightlifting again, a few more sit ups until I could feel it. And I was just sat there like, geez, I'm out of shape, but I'm trying to get back in, you know? So can I go under him? No. No. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, I was doing that. Still pretty achy, still pretty tired. <laughs> so I just thought, I'm just going to sit here, because it's my day off, right? Um, and play some video games now, because why the fuck not? Uh, seriously, I'm just trying to get to the plat. What am I not seeing? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, so I was just trying to get more into shape and like starting to take it more seriously again, trying to keep my fitness up to date, you know, starting to improve my diet. I've stopped drinking for like two or three months now. Uh, just, wow, well, that was just a big worry. Um, so let's see where I have these gems. Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Will you guys be mad that I didn't get every single gem? Uh, geez, that was 40 minutes. Just me doing everything.
Oh man, I'll start a new session. So yeah, I'm pretty achy though. I'm gonna start trying to like get into the swing of just doing that on my days off because it's like I'm doing it around my work to just try and get back into the swing. I don't know what inspired me. I was watching a load of Muay Thai videos and like stuff like that and I was like, oh, you know what? I really need to get back into this shit and then I just decided to again and I'm actually like, I feel a lot more positive again. So I really need to keep doing it and stop gatekeeping my own happiness really. Anyway, stop this one here.